Today's fact file is on the common kingfisher. They have an average wingspan of around 25 centimetres and are one of the most colourful birds found in Britain. They have a range of electric blues on the back while the chest is covered in a muddy orange colour. The feet are also orange and the beak is completely black in males while the females have an orange underbill which is an easy way to sex kingfishers. Typically they use a perch to search out prey below and dive in to catch its food but they can also hover for a brief period. They close their eyes as they dive into the water, so they are fishing blind. They bob their heads before diving to accurately judge the depth of the fish. The design of a kingfisher's beak is aerodynamically efficient, allowing it to dive from its perch towards its prey with maximum speed and minimum splash. In fact, the beak design is so clever, the front of many Japanese bullet trains are modelled to mimic it. Although fish make up the majority of its diet, with minnows being the bulk of it, they will also take small invertebrates and tadpoles. They need to eat 60% of its body weight in fish each day just to survive. After a large meal, kingfishers, like owls, will cough up a pellet comprised of fish bones and insect shells. It has a high-pitched whistling call, which breaks through the sound of running water and is a familiar sound along many British riverbanks. Often associated with small rivers, they will colonise most waterways, from large wetlands to coastal harbours. Many kingfishers will head to the coast during the winter to avoid the freezing over inland. They require steep banks to dig into and build a nest, having up to seven eggs. If a clutch fails or fledged early, the kingfishers will breed again in one season, a handy strategy as the survival rate for young kingfishers is quite low. Mostly a solitary bird, kingfishers will defend their stretch of river being very territorial. They are found all over the UK but absent from the far north of Scotland. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Other fact files are on the screen and new uploads every Monday and Thursday. Also why not check out my wildlife podcast, the Bearded Tits podcast, where I interview wildlife TV presenters, artists, cameramen and scientists each week. Until next time, cheers.